what's up guys uh welcome to today's omzi 2 video that i'm bringing out for you guys uh so yeah today is sort of like a little different video tonight is the ones i one of the uh omzi 2 videos that i've been doing lately it's not sort of uh based on it on the other videos that i made um but yeah so this is basically me uh, with the Scania Citywide again by Alter, uh, but with some modifications. And, uh, yeah, but before I start this, uh, if you guys do want to show your love for this video by hitting that like button, would be great. It will help me, me out a lot. And, uh, yeah, so please excuse me also if I trip over my words a bit. I'm tired, it's late, and, uh, there wasn't any other time I could record this video, so I'm sorry for that. But anyways, uh, so yeah, basically, there are some modifications added to the Scania City YGN14. And uh, I thought it's a really cool and uh, it's a good idea for me, a good opportunity for me to uh, share this with you guys. And uh, it's actually really cool. So let's get into the cab. And uh, basically, so we got also, um, I want to shout out this dude who, for making the, uh, the sound set, the sound configuration. Uh, his name is Rati Huopo Finn. Uh, it's this Finnish guy, and uh, we ended up even talking on Skype together. A great person, and uh, he, you know, made these sound mods, and uh, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. I checked his channel out, and uh, he is doing some really cool projects, and uh, I w wouldn't mind you guys go and check him out, and uh, go and see for yourself, and see what he's doing for the next few... Uh, I don't know, for the next few months ahead. And uh, also, I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I forgot to wish you guys in the uh, other video. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. Uh, for you guys, you know, uh, Christmas has happened, and now New Year's is tomorrow. I'm recording this on the 30th, uh, 30th and New Year's is tomorrow, so I might record uh, upload this video tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but yeah, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to you guys. Who, when are you guys seeing this? I don't know, but uh, yeah. So, anyways, we are in the cab right now, and um, we are. So yeah, a lot of stuff has been added, as you guys can see. Uh, this guy who I mentioned, Rati, he uh, uh, was working with Morphe, who is a pretty uh, well-known sound configurator for Omzi Two, and uh, and for all these buses here. And uh, I gotta tell you guys something, um, uh, since the last time I made a, the video of this bus reviewing this bus, I gotta tell you guys that a lot and lots of things have been improved in this bus, and I'm not kidding, it's been a lot of stuff, and uh, I, I am, you know, extremely happy that uh, people took their time and fixing the physics on this bus, because basically... You know, there were some pretty bad things on this bus and really serious things to need to be fixed and like, you know, uh, all, you know, uh, physics and stuff, handling was poor on this bus and everything and uh, everything needed a little overhaul and uh, basically, yeah, so I decided let's, uh, I'm gonna show this to you guys in this video and uh, also, don't forget to check out Rati. I will be linking his channel down in the description below. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into this. So I'm basically going to drive this bus a bit for you guys to see what I'm talking about. And, uh, basically, for you guys to have an idea. And I'll also include a link in the description uh, for you guys to download this sounds uh, configuration. And, uh, yeah, but anyways, let's get into this. So, uh... Nothing in the bus has changed, just to warn you guys, nothing in the bus has changed except I selected a custom, uh, not custom, but you know, a optional preset repaint for the bus that already came with the bus, so this red repaint right here. And I'm also in the map of Hamburg, for you guys who don't know, and uh, yeah, so let's already start this bus, and uh, I will actually uh, start it from the inside for you guys to give it a listen. Alright, yeah, there's a bunch of key switches and everything. 
So as you guys can see, this is a pretty quiet bus, Euro 6 engine, and it's not really quiet inside. And also, I do have a thing to warn you guys about. Um, this bus still needs a few other fixes that hasn't been fixed yet uh, in this patch 1.0. Um, uh, if you guys uh, who are uh, using this bus and downloaded this bus, you guys might have seen already, uh, the rev counter actually if you rev, rev it until the red line at 2500 rpm uh, and if you rev it above that then it goes super high and it never finishes so it's terrible that's the thing that needs to be fixed urgently and uh, I, I hope I can get that thing fixed uh, and sorted out with uh, Rati and see what we'll do about that but uh, yeah so anyways um, this is uh, yeah let's anyway so I'll actually turn the bus off right now for you guys also to have an idea of what the bus sounds starting outside because it actually uh, sounds really cool as well so let you guys have a listen see how real you can see real Scania engine it's all we needed for this bus. It needs to be a real Scania. Without a good mo engine sound, you need a... Uh, if you want to have a realistic bus, you need a realistic engine sound. So, it sounds exactly like the bus itself in real life, and it's just amazing. And uh, I'm going to rep it a bit for you guys to hear what it sounds like. Sounds like a real bus, no? Um, so, from what I remember, the engine on this bus is a K270, which is, I think, 270 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so anyways, w w enough talking for me right now, and um, let's uh, put this bus into drive, and... Uh, yeah, also, another thing that I want to show you guys while driving, and let's just put this bus into drive and get into the street and everything. Also, a lot of cameras' views have changed as well, so you can see the mirror as well, the both side uh, right and left mirrors. You can see them really well. You have a good visibility range and everything, so it's actually really cool. And uh, also the thing, uh, the coolest thing ever that I always like to see on Scania mods and everything is the indicator sound from Scania. Real indicator sound, and now it's loud, finally. It's, you know, uh, relevant. Now it's not as, like, you know, uh, indicators being played in the back or stuff like that. It's, you know, good, uh, good quality, everything redone, redesigned. And you know, there isn't much to say about this bus. Now the bus is really looking like it's supposed to be, you know? Uh, actually sounding, that's more like it. And uh, it needs to sound better, you know? But anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, this bus actually is really cool. And uh, if you guys do think, uh, yeah, no, if you guys do think it's a w worth downloading it, Please download it. It it won't. Uh, it, you shouldn't miss out on it. You're giving a try on this uh, sound uh, patch, and uh, there still needs a. It's still. I'm still gonna say it needs a still final adjustments. It's not a hundred percent yet, but it still needs some final adjustments and uh, to be worked on. But I'm sure that will be worked on for sure. Um, but other than that, the bus itself sounds amazing, and if you rev it outside of when it's in drive... Sounds like a Scania, not all you gotta say. And, uh, yeah, but if you guys did hear some steering wheel vibration, I'm sorry. Uh, that's my steering wheel, that the force feedback, I think it's a bit up. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, there isn't really much to say anymore about this bus of what's bad about, except those minor issues of that, of like, you know, of revving and everything, which can be fixed easily, I think. And uh, yeah, so 
we're just driving this bus around and uh, just you know uh, going through Hamburg and uh, you guys getting the chance to hear what this bus sounds like with this uh, sound mod and uh, getting for you guys to have an idea of what what it sounds like so we're not gonna be going all the way down there to Rathaus Mark. We're just gonna be turning right before, and uh, and from what I think, don't get me wrong, uh, when when the indicator goes off, when you like uh, go on a turn and then turn, for example, of where I turned right back there, um, it, when you like you know when the indicator turns off. I think that indicator swoof is uh, actually original and it sounds original from what I'm guessing it's from the bus itself so you know uh, it's actually really cool and uh, you know I oh and also apparently from what I've learned on this bus as well in this new sound mod if you have your your foot pressed on the brake for some time it will activate I think a light or uh, something like that, a uh, stopping brake where you don't have to have your foot on the brake all the time. You can just, you know, hold the foot brake for a second, then let it go and it will activate some sort of automatic brake or something. It's actually really cool. It's, it really uh, caught my eye and uh, really, really nice uh, implement on it, you know. Sitting in the slide uh, and it's already open. So as soon as you press the gas again, it will release the this foot, um, automatic uh, stoplight brake, or I don't know what, what you should call it, but uh, but that's what it is, and but it's really cool, uh, definitely it's cool, and uh, the more I mean, you know, this bus is like the one that I think, from what I've understood, the most awaited buses ever in this game, and uh, really awesome, and you know. There isn't really much else to say about it, and you know it's closed for until January fourth or January sixth, and uh, it's good to have people modding the game still, and you know you getting to mod your game, have the chance to mod, see new mods and and whatnot, and uh, it's actually really cool, and uh, yeah. But I guess you guys could have a listen already of this bus. Also, I didn't show you guys how it sounds through like inside from this view right here like through the I guess uh, it is kind of difficult to drive with this view but uh, the sound of it is actually pretty cool so of the engine it's more uh, vibrant than you know from the like first person inside the cockpit and everything it's uh, it's kind of like through the cockpit view, it's the uh, engine sound is a bit, uh, um, yeah, it's a bit, uh, silent, I would say. It's not that, uh, loud, so it needs, you know, it, it's, it's alright sounding, but it's not that loud, you know, it's a bit more quieter than than through, you know, the outside view, obviously, and, uh, from third person, and second person view is a bit louder, the engine, so, to hear better what this engine is all about, and, uh, well, yeah, um, also gotta, yeah, so, I think you guys got to hear quite a bit of this bus already, I hope, and, uh, but the visibility on this bus definitely it's awesome it's really good it there really isn't nothing to say about it and uh yeah um so yeah uh <laughs> i mean uh i guess i'm gonna go with i i think this is all for this video i guess i'm gonna be ending this video right here at right now and uh yeah uh <laughs> uh please if you guys did uh enjoy this video show your love by leaving a like it will really help me out leave a comment down below of what you guys thought about this video and uh, what you guys think I should do for the next episode and uh, yeah 
I mean, I guess this is all for me. Uh, happy holidays, and uh, if you're not Christian or Catholic or whatever. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers! Hey, what is up, guys? North here, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And, uh, by the way, uh, happy holidays and everything. I've said it many times in this video already. Uh, but just a thing that I kind of want to clear about, uh, I was, I did mention in one part of the video that, uh, you could see a good view on the bus, um, unfortunately, uh, I'm, I got this new, uh, screen recording software called DX Tori or DX Tari or something, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm still learning how to use it because there's so many features and everything, so I'm still learning how to do what and uh, basically uh, I still uh, I was messing around with some configurations of what vi uh, video formats and stuff like that of like uh, what to uh, record and what format what size and then I ended up recording this video in 720p I was tending to record in uh, uh, what you call uh, in 1920 by 1080 but uh, I ended up recording in um, 720p, so uh, I'm sorry about that, and uh, uh, hopefully next video will be in 1080p, and uh, that's just a reminder for you guys, and I'm sorry about that, this never happened to me before, but uh, I'm just trying new uh, software to for screen recording, which is easier for me to edit audio and everything. Uh, but anyways, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, please show your love by leaving a like, and uh, yeah, I guess this is all for me, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.